ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, we, we we talking mellow today. All right, no 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 hype, nothing. This just some clip. Listen, I'm just gonna be throwing up some Spider Man remastered and Miles Morales clips, exploring the city, just really just getting to feel the last half of what we're gonna, about to get into coming this Friday, four days away. Uh, making this video on Sunday, but by the time you guys get this video, it'll be four days away from launch. And this is my ultimate Spider-Man review. Um, I platinum both games. Um, as you can see here, I'm put the screenshots on the screen. Platinum both games. And I have to say, it was a journey. Um, just a little backstory. Like, I love gaming. By the time I was a kid, I was, I've been a gamer. And no other game has made me feel the way I felt about gaming other than Dragon Ball. Let's say other than Dragon I love Dragon Ball too. But aside from that, no, no other game has made me feel this excited. This excited. Um, Spider-Man 2 is going to be amazing. Just as amazing as the other two were. And I'm getting on into my review but this is my intro just so you guys get the feel of what you guys get getting into with this and i'm going to be throwing up some b-roll on the screen of, the, of both games but mostly i'm going to be showing just be swinging around just you guys don't ever do that when you go into spider-man sometimes you know when you're kind of just in your feels maybe you throw on some music swing around a little bit and yeah it was nice doing that i did that that's basically what i was doing here just doing tricks and stuff um practicing um getting a feel of what the other mechanics might be so this video might be long um, I'm just going to leave this, like, I'm not going to try and edit too much when it comes to the voice. Uh, I want to keep this authentic. Uh, this, this is my review. This is the my version of an ultimate Spider-Man review. So let's get on into it. Spider-Man PS4, or Spider-Man 2018, or Spider-Man Remastered. You know, same, same game, but... Um, man, that, that was... A, what, what a way to set the bar, right? 2018, I remember getting this game actually a few, maybe a year after it. Because I had wanted, I had played other Spider-Man games, but they weren't really good. So I had kind of thought this was going to be the same thing, you know? It's like, ah, another Spider-Man game. I wasn't really into gaming like that. I didn't know who Insomniac was and all that good stuff. And so I was just like, okay, cool. Spider-Man game. I seen it on like, I think it was like, it was on going like on, just, on a tiny sale. It was still a year. After at least, so it wasn't that big of a sale. But I got it on sale and I played it. And well, my, my brothers and sisters, they also played it and they loved it. Like they played it before me and they loved it. I was just like, okay. And I got my hands on the game and I immediately fell in love with it. And getting into the first part of this, we're going to go into the story. Uh, you immediately open up with an exhilarating, fast paced, full of excitement scene where you fight Fisk, one of the most notable villains in Spider-Man, right? And so with that being said, it, it was just a perfect opener to me. It was a perfect way to really introduce what you're getting into with this game. The combat is introduced, the mechanics are introduced, the way the AIs move, um, the graphics, even for a PS4 game back then, it was really, 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 really well done. Really well done. Um, when it comes to the actual, like, when I got into the first few, and this is really my, ver this is really my, uh, and my review on the remastered part, because like, of course, like years ago, you're not gonna remember everything, but re reminiscing on it, playing it recently when I platinum, yeah, it, it was. I remember the feeling, it was just like, wow, going through that and fighting Fisk and going down through the ceiling where you guys, when he fights through the whole building and really learning how to dodge and learning how to use your combat skills. Like they really did a good job of introducing the character of Spider-Man. They really made a, a made an effort to make sure you feel like you're Spider-Man. So with all that being said, you know, you have the first part and then you're, you're already locked in at this point, you know? And the whole story is basically that Spider-Man is, you know, regular, he's about 23 at this point. 
Um, he's trying to trying to live. He's trying to make his way through life. He's homeless. <laughs> he's struggling. You know, yeah, we all struggle, right? We're all human. Um, even though he is Spider Man, he doesn't want to take the fame. He doesn't want to take the money. You know, he doesn't want to take the that part of it. So he, he chooses to be poor. And they, they they immediately again open this up to you in the beginning, like literally the beginning half. <laughs> When you actually get into uh, the game, they show you his living situation, but they show you that, hey, he's still a superhero, right? And in the event that, you know, we find out what his Aunt May is doing, feeding the homeless, helping people, and um, he's kind of just popping in there every now and then, but his part-time job is with Doc Ock. Now, he works with Doc Ock, and Doc Ock is also unstable because... Doc Ock doesn't really have a good track record with, you know, like, people like Norman Osborn and um, Oscorp, which he helped start, by the way, which was kind of wrong. Now, even though I agree with, you know, the fact that Oz, Doc Ock kind of went through it bad, you know, what he did at the end was just terrible. It was, just, it was bad. But, you know, you get into that, that part and getting on into actual gameplay, you know, you get to the puzzles. Though setting up the puzzles and stuff like that, it was really neat to kind of really have an aspect where it's mainly about action and you kind of incorporate the brain part and say, hey, like, you know, you kind of got to use your brain here and kind of do a puzzle. And it was cool to me. A lot of people said they don't like the puzzles, but I enjoyed the puzzles. I enjoy enjoy that option. And sometimes I don't know if you had if you had the option, but, you know, if, you, if it took a minute, you can skip it. So it wasn't like they were making you. But yeah, it was it was interesting. It was interesting to enjoy that aspect of a game that had both sides. And I know a lot of games have puzzles too, but this one was really cool. Like it was, it really resembled what Spider-Man would do with his engineering skills and his uh, knowledge on science and biology. So yeah, it was really neat, really cool. And so with all that being said, we get into how he meets mary jane and then that in that gameplay setting we have our stealth mode and all that good stuff and i don't i don't know just overall the story was great to experience what it would be like to indulge in these spider-man missions from that time meeting mary jane and you go on and you have miles morales incorporated in here they were setting miles morales up from the beginning that's the thing like they've been setting all of this up from the beginning from the beginning with norman osborne and the symbiote and harry and it it was it's, it was an experience going through all of that again and, and kind of like oh yeah i remember that oh that's linked to this and that could be linked to miles morales and stuff like that and so you know we're getting on into that getting on into the miles morales doc ock who's behind all of the you know people that are turning like demon like and stuff like that and yeah it it, it just was, it was a good story it's a good premise you know like you have a whole you have a two sets of villains or one villain that we don't know is a villain you know we already know doc ock uh spoilers spoilers ahead if i had to say anything <laughs> but doc ock is ends up being the villain but at first the villain who is mr negative and we also had a lot more villains we had like electro rhino Shocker, Taskmaster, Master, sorry, Vulture, Scorpion, like these people were all in a one Spider-Man game. This was a villain packed, cast packed game. And then Dr. Octopus, like it was just, it was absolutely crazy to be in that world of Spider-Man, seeing what he had to do by himself. We had even more. I mean, you had Tombstone, you know what I'm saying? Krager, Craven is coming now. Black Cat, you know, if you count her as a villain, right? Anti-hero. And so I I just, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed living that. It was like going through and reading a comic and being a part of Spider-Man and his world. It's literally like being Spider-Man. Insomniac Spider-Man Remastered is literally the closest thing to feeling like you're in a Spider-Man game that you can get. When it comes to the story, especially when it comes to the story uh, combined with the gameplay, right? Which we're going to get into right now. When it comes to all that, when it comes to the story and everything, getting on into like the last half of the story, where you're actually 
going around with, you know, doing the, ex you know, the actual collectibles and stuff. One of the things that stood out to me was the research tokens and how they incorporated Harry Osborne into the research tokens missions. And that was the main part of the story. I don't know if a lot of people paid attention to that. If you did all of them. Yeah, it tells a lot. It tells a lot. And not only that, but the actual landmarks that he's taking pictures of and all that good stuff, like all little tidbits of the game really enhance, like, again, how Spider-Man would do everything on his day to day, how his day to day would look. It was some missions I was like, wait. The day just flipped. I thought we did like a whole day's worth of work already. The day's not over. And and so they really did a good job of capturing that time, especially if you did like how I did, where I did a mission and then the one I side quest pull, pulled up, I immediately did it. I tried to do every single one and like do it as if he was doing it like that. And when, when the day switched, the days would switch. And so, yeah, it, it was... It was pretty cool again again for them to weave everything into weave all the little tidbits including including the game gameplay and the web swinging although i would agree the tricks <laughs> i don't i don't really i'm not fond of the tricks they're really basic and stuff like that um my boss definitely has better tricks but um like i said this game is not perfect you know it still has it for me spider-man remastered or the game entirely just feels a little bit less feels a little bit more rigid um, then Miles Morales does feels more smoother, and I feel like they actually smooth. I mean, they may smooth it up in Spider Man 2. And so, just with this, with that, I mean, it's just a small tidbit, but you know, it definitely ch is there's some changes in the game that they've made, obviously, that they needed to make that makes it better. And so, with all that being said, like the gameplay, everything again, it just they they achieved the goal, they achieved the goal that everybody wanted, and it set big records because nobody's really expecting that maybe people were expecting it but nobody was really expecting like that big game of the year you know what i'm saying that was a true spider-man game it is a true spider-man game and i'm glad that i had to get a chance to platinum it, it's my first platinum trophy on playstation <laughs> really nice to enjoy it was really i, lo I love gaming man. I, re I really love gaming and i like to enjoy stuff like that on my free time and it was great to have that time to do that and you know that's it on that so Spider-Man Remastered or Spider-Man 2018, 9 out of 10. Solid 9 out of 10. No, no is answer, but definitely had some things that can be better, can improve on when it comes to the city and the vibe of the city, or what, what happens. Sometimes there would be like glitches. There's still glitches in there where like NPCs or AIs get stuck, stuff like that. It's, it's still got issues, but they're not groundbreaking issues enough to even bring this down more than a nine <laughs> it's still a nine it's still a goat right all right guys so well, while i actually drink some water we get on some miles morales all right so spider-man miles morales um yeah this is this is i don't know this was definitely a step up when it comes to the animations, the look, the actual like feel, the smoothness. The only thing I say that sets it back from Spider-Man Remastered in 2018 is that the story was just too short. The game was just too short-lived. Not enough suits for me. Um, it kind of and that's I would I hate to call this a downgrade because it wasn't down. And let me. Let me stop talking about it like Miles Morales isn't the game. Miles Morales is an amazing game. I love Spider-Man Miles Morales. It, it has that joy of being Spider-Man. I felt like Spider-Man 1 was like the feel of Spider-Man on his day-to-day, -day, like the busy type of thing. I felt like Miles Morales was a bit more joyful. It didn't have as much puzzles. It wasn't as serious. You know, it was definitely, it definitely serious. Pulled out them heartstrings. But I feel like it wasn't as serious. And it was just a lot more fun. I felt like Spider-Man 1 was fun because for those who love to grind and for those who just love the art of Spider-Man and just being Spider-Man in general. Yeah, of course. Miles Morales, I just feel like they added a little bit more. Like some of his suits do animations and stuff like that. And some of his finishers, I think they're better. <laughs> Dare I say, I think they're better than Spider-Man 1. 
rightfully so. This this game came out two years after, and it you know came out with PS5 at the time in 2018. Didn't come out at the time. They just remastered it. You know, made it made it try to make it more better or made it more better. So yeah, yep. Yeah, I just Miles Morales is that game. I love the camo. I love his Venom abilities. His Venom abilities are really nice. But getting on into the actual story aspect of this, Miles Morales definitely has a great story as well. Miles Morales opens up with him really taking in his environment. He gets him off a train. It comes off that loading screen. It's actually a pretty cool animation. And you get off that loading screen and he goes off the subway and we, you go in up the steps and experiencing everything. Christmas, by the way, I love Christmas. One of my favorite, th- my favorite holiday, the favorite holiday, the only holiday. And it, it, it gave us that vibe like, oh, yeah, I'm in the city. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Spider-Man now. And, you know, I'm just feeling myself. He's just not he's just feeling at home. You know what I'm saying? He's feeling like he belongs there. And we go more so into, you know, what him and Peter Parker are up to. Because if you play the DLC of Peter Parker, the first Spider-Man, you know, they actually, you know, Miles Morales has been wanting to train with him and stuff. And they train and, you know, this is the the later half of that. And so after that, when you get into the actual first mission, again, opening up with a bang. We open up and we're fighting Rhino. Rhino. He's because remember back in the other Spider-Man, the, the villains, the prisoners got out. So after that, he has to he has to deal with them now. And so Miles was trying to help him, and Miles ends up saying, Hey, no, I got it, I got it, I can do it. And you know, he ends up falling to falling to shit. And Peter has to tame him, and this is when we get into learning the gameplay. But I like how they speed it up this time. They actually give you the dodge mechanics, the fighting mechanics. Uh, how to use your, those mechanics, a little bit more of the mechanics early on than they did in the first one. And so Miles Morales really did a good job, or they did a really good job of really speeding up the process of getting you involved in, into Spider-Man and into his world. Uh, because you, you then enter those scenes where you actually get to control Rhino and chase down you know, Peter and all that good stuff. So it was introducing all the chase scenes and all the all that stuff early on, so that when you get into it, it's a little bit quicker. Uh, I feel like that 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 was maybe one of the reasons that it may have been felt quicker too, because um, Spider-Man One took you a little bit longer to kind of get into like the mechanics. Uh, that could be a reason. Um, but aside from all that, Miles Morales, the, the, the tricks I will say the tricks are just phenomenal. Like, the tricks are great. Like, I don't know what else to say about the tricks. When, we're, when, I'm, out, when I'm out here doing tricks and stuff, I just feel great. And the haptics and the controllers, like, for both games, even in Remastered one, uh, they just make you feel like that resistance on the wings and uh, point launching off of the buildings, diving, the tricks you're doing, all that good stuff. I just love the, the parts where you get to actually pull out your phone and like do the tricks on the side. Oh, I, I, I think I do them a couple times in here in uh, the clips, but it it's, it's really good. And I love that you can use the Venom abilities in the air, like when you're actually swinging around. It's it, All that stuff incorporated into this just really felt like, again, they were trying to make it a more fun experience. I would say Miles Morales is more fun to play than, than Spider-Man 1. It, Spider-Man 1 is objectively better. Story, mechanics, uh, the more things you could do as far as like, you know, work Spider-Man, more suits. Uh, suits are, they have way more suit options. But in terms of like the actual, like just, me, being, just, just for being a little bit more fun, I think they sacrificed some of that just to have that. And Miles Morales, we have to remember he's just getting into being Spider-Man. So I don't think they wanted to give him too much to do or too much to have and then give him all that stuff in the Spider-Man 2, you know? I feel like he's going to have a lot more stuff. Guys, it's four days away. I can't believe we're, we're saying that. But aside from all of that, getting, it, again, back into just the whole review of the game, it was a great experience. It is a great experience. I do Spider-Man clips on TikTok and Instagram, if you guys know, uh, or I've you know, went on to my other pages, PS Game Only, links in my bio all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I enjoyed playing this, posting the clips on it, and I enjoyed the excitement around this game. 
Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales did a great job of capturing also that world of being, you know, a black superhero. Not even a black superhero, but just a black man in America. Um, captured that side of, you know, at the end. I love the ending part when they're at the end and, he, you know, Finn kind of unfortunately takes a takes a death. And the, new, the guy says to the news reporter, he says, you know, that's our Spider-Man. And I like that they incorporated that aspect. You know, they're saying like, you know, y'all have, you know, y- if y'all want to do the separation, y'all can have y'all's and this is ours. Even though that's not what it is. They're both Spider-Man. I don't do the separation. They're both Spider-Man. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Spider-Man. Everybody's Spider-Man. I feel like, and listen to this, I feel like people misinterpret the point of Spider-Man. Spider-Man was made as a character, you know, at first just for people to feel like they can be a superhero, any 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 teenager, right? But he's evolved. There's a whole Spider-Verse of Spider-Man characters. It shows that no matter who you are, no matter what you what you can do, when you put on that mask, you you're Spider-Man. You are Spider-Man. I feel like that's what Insomniac wants us to feel this whole time. It's not their Spider-Man. It's your Spider-Man. You are controlling him. You are the 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 person controlling that mask. You know what I'm saying? And not just in the game, just in life. Put on the mask and go outside and be be a be a hero. Do for others. You know what I'm saying? If you can do for yourself, do for others. And I think that's the point of Spider-Man. No matter who you are, you can do it. No matter who it is, white, black, purple, whatever. No matter who you are. You could be Spider-Man too. I feel like, you know, I, I, I know it's cliche and corny and all sentimental, but that, I feel like that's just the take that they want and th- that I, I guess I want people to take from this as well when when looking at both of these characters. And they're, they're their own characters in their own way, you know, regardless. And I love, I just love how inclusive, how they incorporate all the little details about Spider-Man, about each version of Spider-Man, not just Miles Morales, Peter Parker as well. And yeah, that 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 just that this game that that did it. Now, even though with all that being said, my, again, Miles Morales, I feel like the runtime was too short. I felt like it just wasn't. They, I feel like they didn't pack uh, as much as they did in the first one, and they made it. You know, it it kind of it, it ran for a big price too. So. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel like Miles Morales could have done a lot better with putting more uh, detail, especially with the suits and the mods and stuff like that. It just wasn't more options. It, it kind of felt like you were doing less than you were in Spider-Man, you know. But again, I, I, I feel like they sacrificed some of that for some of the extra stuff you can do. Um, but, I mean, I cannot wait for the release of Spider-Man 2, guys. It's almost here, guys. We are four days away. Um, I'm going to be posting one other video besides this one for spider-man and that's it guys that's it that's a wrap that's a wrap for the anticipation that's a wrap for the videos thank you guys for the support thank you guys so much for liking my videos and just just supporting and listening to my opinions and topics on games like that i don't i don't know what else to say um my first like big video on the spider one got got it was a clickbait video but it got a lot of views and you guys listen to my opinions on you know this isn't the same game spider-man 2 is going to be very different it's going to be a very different got- vibe so make sure you guys are following me on tiktok to see just in my other clips if you don't want to see too much i will be streaming this on twitch this is the only twitch is the only page that will see spoilers youtube when i do reviews i do spoiler free reviews so you guys won't see too much on the cutscenes. But you guys see, will see some free roam and stuff like that and some suits. But that's all it is on YouTube. Twitter, y'all ain't getting no footage. Barely. I don't know when y'all are going to get footage, but I don't want y'all to get any footage. Maybe some free roam and some suits. That's it. That's probably all Twitter is going to get. But with all that being said, make sure you guys are following me on those socials. Link, link is in my bio. I'm going to be throwing it up on the screen as well. Um, again, I'm doing this a day early. So right now it's five days for me, but four days away, guys for this way leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new if you enjoyed my ultimate spider-man review we can get on some more spider-man 2 spider-man contents peace